Good morning. Looks like the Supreme Court has switched on its ultra-active mode even as the UPA2 remains in sleep mode. The latest setback to Congress-led regime has come in the form of questioning CBC's appointment by the Apex Court. Its credibility has taken another knock, giving the opposition further opportunity to keep the offensive going. The post-budget momentum may continue today as well, at least at the start. We may even go into a weekend without a red day, provided the global queues remain supportive. The Nifty has managed to stay above 5,550 level and if all goes well, it might retest 5,655 levels shortly which corresponds to 200 DMA. Banks could pace the advance after the Cabinet cleared the Banking Laws Amendment Bill that seeks to align the voting rights in proportion with the shareholding. In global action, Asian markets are mostly up, led by Nikkei. European markets also finished higher. U.S. stocks had their best day in three months, spurred by a steep drop in weekly jobless claims. Watch out for all important monthly U.S. payroll data out on Friday. Oil too softened on reports of a possible truce in Libya, even as pro gaddafi forces continued their air and land attacks against the rebel. But crude remains fairly elevated and won't cool substantially unless there is material easing of tensions in the Middle East. Meanwhile, the euro climbed to four-month high against the dollar and yen after ECB President Jean-Claude Trichet said that the central bank of the eurozone may raise interest rate next month to counter spiraling interest rate. The ECB held rate at record low 1%. FIs were net buyers of Rs 2.29 billion in the cash segment on Thursday, according to the provisional NSC data. The domestic institutional investors were net buyers at Rs 955.2 million on the same day. FIs were net buyers of Rs 11.66 billion in the FNO segment. The foreign funds were net buyers of Rs 4.67 billion in the cash segment on Tuesday as per the SEBI website. Mutual funds were net buyers of Rs 4.14 billion on the same day. Moving on to recommendations, the technical calls for the day are We recommend high risk traders to buy Dana Bank above Rs 100 with a stop loss place of Rs 97 and for the target price of Rs 106. We advise going short on ICICI Bank March futures in the range of Rs 1,045 to Rs 1,050 with a stop loss placed at Rs 1,066 and for the target price of Rs 1,003. Our derivative strategy for the day are Long Financial Tech March futures in the range of Rs 790 to Rs 793 with a target price of Rs 820 and a stop loss placed at Rs 778. Long GVK PIL March futures in the range of Rs 26.5 to Rs 26.75 with a target price of Rs 28.5 and a stop loss placed at Rs 25.75. Thank you. Wish you have a great day ahead.